Am I the idiot for forcing my son to use a bidet and threatening to talk to his friends or take him to the doctor about his underwear? For some reason, my 14-year-old son cannot wipe properly. This was never a concern to me as his mom did the laundry. Unfortunately, she is sick right now, so I have taken over the household chores that she used to handle. My son is still responsible for his and I do mine as well as hers. First day I did laundry, I gagged and almost puked from his underwear. If he were three and not fully potty trained and I might understand how they end up like this. But he is a healthy young man. He should not be leaving his bag this unwiped. I talked to him about it and he said he would make an effort to do a better job. Nope, no change in the situation. So I went to the hardware store and installed a wand bidet in the bathroom he uses. We already have one in ours. I told him that he has a choice of either using the bidet or washing his own underwear. He doesn't know how to use the washing machine and he refuses to do them by hand. He started going commando, which just meant the problem was his jeans now. So I said that we might need to take him to the doctor to see what is wrong with him, if it's physical or psychological. I also said that the next time his friends were over, I was going to ask them is they left their underwear in the same condition. I would never actually embarrass him like that. He said I was being an idiot and he called his mom to tell her what I was doing. She said that she was just like that and I could deal with it until she was better. I don't think that's a great plan. If this kid never learns to wipe his back, he will be bereft of a sexual partner without a poop fetish. I'm not king shaming him if that's his thing. He has started using the bidet but he says that it is gross and weird. I said it was grosser and weirder for a 14 year old to crap his pants every day. We are both stressed about his mom but this condition isn't because of her. I asked her. Not the idiot, 14 is a little late in life to be learning how to clean your butt after using the toilet. Your wife is doing him no favors by allowing and coddling this behavior. Straight up this is a biohazard and it is unacceptable. I would frame it that way to both your wife and your son, like literally there can be health complications from this. You are at higher risk for UTs and you can spread bacteria. Even after she gets better, I would continue to do laundry to make sure she is not just letting it go. I would have whatever conversation you need to have to let her know that this is a hill to die on for you. That you are concerned as a parent and that you and your son need her support on this to do what is best for him. Also by the way studies have shown the washing machine is does not wash away all fecal matter, so gross. I would be having a serious conversation with my wife about why this has been allowed to continue and what makes her think it is okay that his underwear consistently looks like this. It is literally your job as parents to teach your children how to properly care for themselves and basic hygiene. You can talk about your friends and girls or boys will be grossed out. Sure, but I think we are beyond that. At this point, he is contaminating your damn furniture and putting his own health at risk. Tell your son straight, this is not like cleaning your room or taking out the trash. This is not a chore. This is a non-negotiable must do for your health. And that you are sorry you and his mom were not on top of this sooner. Admit that it was an error on your part that it even got to this point. Because it was, but it cannot continue. I am a mandated reporter and if I was made aware something like this was happening, I would be calling to arrange a wellness check and some education for this family. Refusing to clean up or regressing in terms of hygiene can be an indicator of sexual abuse. When discussing this with him, ask him if there is a reason he is having so much trouble with this. Is anyone making him feel uncomfortable? Is anyone approaching him or touching him who shouldn't be? A therapist is probably indicated and a doctor. If nothing comes to light, go into the bathroom and show him how to wipe, how to rinse, how to check he is clean, how to clean in the shower. Tell him that if his underwear or clothes continue to look like this that you will begin checking to make sure he has wiped. Every time find the least invasive way to do so. Sniff test, I don't know. Tell him this is not a punishment and it is not to belittle him and you don't like it any more than he does. But it is your responsibility as a parent to make sure that he is healthy and hygienic. And if he is literally incapable of wiping appropriately, that you need to know because you actually need to take him to the doctor. Am I the idiot for asking my husband not to invite stepkids out with us? Okay, so it's my birthday in a week's time. My husband and I share one children together who is a toddler and I have two older stepchildren who are in their mid-teens. My stepkids live with us half the week with alternating weekends. My husband tends to work the weekends that my stepkids aren't with us and as I work in the week, it's quite rare that we do anything me, him and our child together. We do lots of family days out on the weekends my stepkids are with us. Anyway, this year he booked my birthday off work which was a nice surprise and he said we can do anything I want. It might sound a little odd but honestly, I would just really like to take our toddler somewhere a bit focused on them and have a day out me, husband and our toddler as it's a very rare 
they get to do something focused on their age group with both of us and our full attention. I have a really good relationship with my stepchildren but when we go out, we tend to ensure it's older kid focused as they get bored easily and they are at an age now where they don't want to do anything considered lame slash boring and will complain the whole time if so. They also struggle a lot with fighting between the two of them so most days out, there are at least one or two fallouts. It's life with teens that's fine. But anyway, on my birthdays, I'd really just like to go somewhere the three of us where we can focus on the little one and not have to worry about older ones getting bored slash arguing slash wanting to go home etc. And seen as they weren't supposed to be with us this weekend anyway, I thought it would be a good opportunity to do that. Anyway, husband has now suggested he ask his ex if we can have older ones that day so they can come with us. I have said I would rather not to be honest and it's now a big deal and I am apparently excluding and saying I don't like them. Never have or would say that. Am I the idiot for saying that on my birthday, a day where the older ones were never meant to be with us anyway? I would prefer it if my husband didn't try and change plans to bring along the older ones which means the focus of the day and what I wanted to do on my birthday will completely change. Edit to add, we are all going for a meal two days after my birthday which is when older ones will next be with us. Not the idiot. Anyway, this year he booked my birthday off work which was a nice surprise and he has said we can do anything I want. Except it actually has to be something that my teens who are not supposed to be with us that day actually want to do and you are an idiot if you want to choose something that is about you or about your toddler. No, you are not the idiot. He is being one especially as you are already planning to celebrate with the teens when they come over anyway. Things to consider. 1. It is your birthday. 2. All relationships need attention not just the one with his teens. 3. You are entitled to want something or some time to yourself occasionally. Even non-step parents have date nights and adult time. 4. You have three children and the toddler needs to not spend her life only tagging along to teen appropriate things. 5. In a healthy non-blended family everything would not resolve around two of the members of that family to the exclusion of everyone else. It breeds entitlement. 6. Has your husband got unresolved guilt around his divorce? Honestly, I think you need to talk about how you feel about your husband working every weekend that the older kids aren't there. He does still have one kid there he is responsible for. If he didn't work every weekend if they were away, I doubt you would even be in the position you are right now. Maybe unpopular but I say not the idiot. Is your birthday and if you really do toddler centric activities, I think it's fair that you get to do that. Your child also deserves one in one time with their father. If you try to exclude your stepkids all the time, that's a problem. But there's a big age gap between the kids. It makes sense that the little ones would get some time doing kid stuff that will straight up be uninteresting for the teens. If it's a big deal, still can you compromise by doing something in the day with your toddler and then all going out to dinner at night?